to open a new frame file, click on this button. Now we're going to use QuickFrame's system of construction lines and points to create the geometry for a simple truss. This is a vertical construction line and this is a horizontal construction line. Now I want to add a line parallel to this. So I'll select the Create Parallel Line tool. I want it to be 5 meters. And if we look to the bottom right, we can see a prompt asking us to click near and to side of line. So I will click here. And that's added our parallel construction line. It's a bit small, so we'll zoom in. We click here and then drag a box around the area that we want to be made bigger. That's good. Now another parallel line, this time one meter, and it will be above this line. Now we'll add the sloping top boom of the truss. We'll use an angle line. We'll have the line at eight degrees, and we'll have it passing through this point. Now I want to divide this distance here into four. To do this, we'll use construction points. We'll select the Create Equal Centers tool. I want four equal centers between this point and this point. Now all that remains is to add vertical construction lines through these three points. I'll go back to lines and I'll select the perpendicular line tool, click near the point, perpendicular to this line, this point, this line, and again. And that's created the geometry for our truss. I'll just zoom in so that it's placed nicely on the screen. And that concludes our demonstration. But before we move on, I'll save the file and give it a name. We'll click on this button. Type the name Truss and click on the Save button. And now it's been saved with the name Truss. This is the geometry for our simple truss. Now we'll add some members. We'll select the Members tab. Members can be fi fixed at each end or pinned. Let's add the top and bottom boom as fixed members. Click near this point, and near this point, and then here, and here. Now let's add the rest of the members as being pinned at both ends. Pinned, pinned, click, 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 click. Now if we do make a mistake at any time, and I've just done it with this member, we have an undo button here. continue to add. Now let's add the diagonals. And that's the members for our simple truss. We'll just save it to disk. This is our simple truss. The next job is to add some bases. We'll add a pin base at the left hand end and a vertical support at the right hand end. Select the bases tab, select pin base and click. And now select the vertical base tool and click. And it's done. Save it.
Now it's time to add loads to our frame. So far we've been viewing the geometry. Let's view the loads. The loads displayed here would be the loads entered under the load case permanent dead. To change the current load case we would click here and select from this pop-up menu. To change the default list we would select the change option. Let's enter some loads under permanent dead. We'll enter a distributed load to the top boom of the truss. Select the loads tab on the toolbar uniform vertical load. Enter a value of 6.3 kilonewton meters and the prompt down here says where pick a member. We'll select the top boom and acting towards here. Let's add three point loads to the bottom boom. Select point load, vertical, we we'll enter a value of 5 kilonewtons. The prompt says acting where, pick a point on a member. We'll select this point, acting towards here. This point, acting towards here, and again. And that's the loads added. We'll save the frame. Before we assign sections to members, we must first build a table of section groups. To do this, select the Sections tab and click on this button. This is the table of section groups. Currently there's one group, default group, the material is steel, but there's no section selected. Let's change this default group. We'll select it with the left button and then right click and then on the pop-up select Change. Section groups have names. Let's call this section group Top Boom. We'll leave the material set as steel and on the steel tab we'll select some material. We'll select a double angle, long legs together and the material can be 200 by 100 by 10 leave the grade set to 275 and click OK. Now let's do the bottom boom. Right click, insert after, change top to bottom, move to the material still and click the orientation button to turn the section up the other way. We can also click here Click OK to accept and now let's do the internals. Right click, insert after and type in internals and for the material we'll have a single angle and we'll select a 100 by 100 by 10. There it is. Click OK and that completes the table of section groups. Click OK. And that's it. This tutorial shows how to view quick frames results. This is a multi-story frame produced by a local design office. Everything's entered, including the members, the loads, and the sections. If we want to view the axial force diagram, simply click on the axial load tab. This is the axial force diagram. I would like to say at this point that these videos are produced at very low resolutions, so the results on your computer should be far superior. We can zoom in, of course see various parts of the diagram and zoom out and I need to put it back to one side. We can look at the shear and we can look at the bending and we can look at the deflection. If we go back to the bending we change the combination by clicking here and selecting a different combination. Dead plus 
wind. Dead plus wind in the other direction. We can change the analysis engine. We've got linear elastic, big P delta, little p delta, stability analysis, and even elastic critical load. If I reselect dead plus imposed plus notional, we can see the elastic critical load for the frame. That's it there on the status line, 3.980. Let's go back to linear elastic. Now we can query the results for individual members. We select the member by clicking in the diagram and then we right click and select member results. This is the member results form. It's much like the properties form. We can select different members and see the results instantaneous for the selected member or column. This is the input for the member. This is the forces for the current combination. We can change the combination here. Dead plus and pose now. These are the deflections. Note we don't need to take notice of sign convention because the arrows show which way around things are. And we can view member diagrams. This is the axial load for this member. This is the shear force. And this is the bending. We can select different members, of course. We can print all these results by clicking here, in which case we can decide which output we wanted, we want included in the report. Council. We can also see frame results by clicking in free space, right clicking and selecting frame results. These are the reactions for this combination and this is the equilibrium check.